Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel. We are all ambassadors in Christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers. Salvation has become a controversial topic among believers with many not understanding what really is to be saved. Today's topic is one you can't miss watching because it's so educating and sweet to watch too. Many have claimed to be born again but they can't tell what it is to be born again. I'm sure most believers don't know the meaning of salvation and that is why we are bringing you this video to get some knowledge on the same. Let's watch the debate and engage on the comment section. The question I have for you today, I've listened to you, it's on salvation. Mm -hmm. How one become a member Notice I'm saying, a member of the body of Christ, according to Colossians 1, 18. Mm -hmm. And according to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And according to Ephesians 1, 13. And according to Ephesians 2, 8, 9. And according to Ephesians 4, 30. Mm -hmm. According to Galatians 3 and 26, I mean, Galatians 3 and 26 and 27, that we are all baptized into the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But I've heard you, I've listened to you on Acts 2 38. Mm -hmm. And so when I read Acts 2 38, Acts 36, 37, 38, Peter preached on the day of Pentecost. He was not speaking to you, Pastor Jennings. He was not speaking to us. He was speaking to the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. They gathered there for a feast. It was prophesied by Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so it disturbs me <clears throat> and persons believe what they want to believe. But I think that salvation is the most important thing. Yes. Sir. And if we don't get salvation right, we can get nothing else right. So what is your question, sir? My question to you, sir. My question to you, sir. Do persons get or have they become born again by Acts 2, 38? All right. Let's go to work in the Bible. And not only that, being that you're emphasizing Israel, are you saying salvation is just for Israel? No, salvation right. was for the Jews first. Yes. And then yes. salvation for the whole world. Oh, so it is for everybody. So we got to rightly, according to 2 Timothy 2.15, mm -hmm. we must rightly divide. So salvation time. is for everybody. Everyone, but it must be rightly divided because there's different salvation in the Bible. I just want to know, is salvation for everybody? For everyone, but everybody don't get saved oh, the I, way it should got saved. The way I mean, we get saved how, today. How many ways is it to be born again? Now, first on the whole, sir, with, you know, I love you. I love how you demonstrate. Yes. Uh, there are many ways in the Bible. To be born again? No, to be born again, because you, Mr. Jennings, cannot be born again. Sir, how many ways, according to the Bible, is it to be born again? Only one way we can be created. I didn't ask A new that. creature. Uh, sir? But born just, just, just a minute, sir. I didn't ask you how many ways to be created. I asked you how many ways is it to be born again? Because if we are born again, we was already born the first time which is our natural birth coming from the womb of our mothers. Agreed. But if it says born again, then he's instituting what Jesus declared to be a new birth. So then, 
How many ways is it to be born again according to the Bible? It is one way to be born again, and that's Israel to be born again, Jeremiah 31 and 31. So just Israel is born again? Yes, we are created in the oh, body of Christ. Oh, so. See, creation and born again is too different. We're not dealing with creation. No, the body of Christ has to be created anew and become a new creature. So if the body of Christ has to be created anew, how do we get in that body? Very good question. How do we get in? That's, that's, the, that's the best question ever will put to me in my 70 years. How do we get into the body according to the Bible? First Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Read Hold it. it. Let's go to work in the Bible. Let's go to work in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15. 1 through 4. 1 through 4. Follow me in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. All right. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, mm -hmm. which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, mm -hmm. unless ye have believed in vain. Yes. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. At verse 4. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. All right, now, which one of those verses tell me how to get into the body? First Corinthians, you have to go back now to Ephesians 1. No, 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 before we, just, just a minute, just a minute, this is, this is your scripture. Yes, no, that's the Bible scripture, let's, that's God's let's, word. Here, let's stay right here. Right. No need to hop in the way else until we finish this. No, I already said that's no. self-explanatory. You said, that this tells us how to get in the body. It's how to be saved. Correct? How to be saved. How to get into the body. That's how to be saved, it says. So, so, S-A-V-E-D, saved. So we are saved if we keep in memory, which is what? What is preached? That Christ, what is preached. What was preached? The gospel. It's right there. All right. I'm so glad you say that. Now, you're saved if you keep in remembrance. Saved means to be delivered. That's if, here, if you delivered from a thing, you are saved from it or rescued from it, would you not agree? I agree 1,000%. So if I'm in the fire, somebody come save me, they come rescue me. Listening to this debate, I could see an eye-opener. Pastor Gino Jennings seems to understand what salvation is in depth and how one gets born again. I love how calm and composed he was in responding to his opponent. I love the debate. It is just sweet watching. Today, I don't want to interrupt the video so much so you can enjoy watching as much as I did. Keep watching to get the wisdom. Jesus came hmm. to rescue us, save us, get us out of sin. So then, if we're saved by keeping in remembrance what is preached unto us, let's see what we got to remember. St. John chapter me 3. No, 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 no. Now, just a minute. So. Now, just a minute. You are running from no, 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 no. Listen, I gave you time to talk, and I'm still elaborating on the scripture you gave. So let me finish. God give it. Let, let, here, here, here. Let me finish now. I'm elaborating on the scripture, scripture you gave. It's you God said word. say. Is that God's word? Oh, yes. Okay. That's all, that's all we're dealing with. Let's rightly divide it. That's all we're dealing with. Okay. All right. You are saved if you keep in remembrance what is preached unto you, lest you believe in vain. I believe that with my whole heart. Oh, yes. Now let's go to the one that taught the apostles because the apostles got to remember what was preached to them. That's right. Luke. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. That's what? And that repentance. Oh, we got to remember this. And that repentance. And that repentance. And remission of sins. And remission of sins. Should be preached. Should. 
should be preached. How? In his name. Where? Among all nations. Beginning where? Beginning at Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. This is what Jesus commands. Then Peter and said you unto are them, saved. This is your scripture. Your scripture. That's the word if of God. This is the scripture you brought. But that's the word of God. I agree. It's God's word, the scripture you presented that I agree with. And I agree 100% that you are saved if you keep in remembrance what I preached unto you, lest ye believe in vain. And the teaching of the gospel, the teaching of the doctrine that the apostles preached came from Christ. That's right. So I'm going back to the foundation, which is Christ. I disagree. Because other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, the Bible says, which is Jesus Christ. Right. So I have to go to the foundation, the author and finisher and the originator of our faith, of our belief, is not the apostles is the originator, Christ is Christ. the originator, because he's the foundation of the church. All right, let's hear what Jesus said. Can I Still respond to that? Still in Luke 24 and verse 47. Luke 24, 47. And that repentance. Because it's Christ's teaching. Amen. That repentance. And remission of sins. And remission or removing of sins. Should be preached. Should. If you don't preach it, you're a hypocrite and a heathen. Should and be disobedient. preached. And disobedient. That's right. Should be preached In what? his name. How? Um, in his name. How? In his name. Beginning where? Among all nations, wait, beginning. Wait, wait, wait. No, just to the Jews. Among all nations. No, just the Hebrews. Among all nations. Just nope. the black folk. Among all nations. Just the people with kinky hair. Among all nations. Beginning where? Among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. All right, let's forget the, we're going to trail this. Question. First, yes, sir. Sir. Yes. With all respect, with the Spirit of God that mm. lives in me, according to Ephesians 4.30. Mm -hmm. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I will challenge you. Well, that's what you're now doing. Hear this now. No, I'm challenging with Scripture. Yeah. And, I can, and you can have to fulfill the Scripture by 2 Timothy 2.15. Yeah. Now hear what it says. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Now, that a workman, that a laborer be not ashamed rightly. Yes. See, this is, this is the problem that I have on some things that you believe in. Fine. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. The truth of God's word must be, not, not kind of be, must be rightly divided. So where am I wrong at? Well, let me tell you where you're wrong. That's what I want you to do. You are wrong. You went. I took you to Apostle Paul who were called... He was called by Jesus Christ. I Read agree. 1 Corinthians 1. I agree. 1. Now, he on the road to Damascus, Acts 9. Mm -hmm. And sir, with all respect, when Jesus was on earth, yes. and you cannot find me one scripture in that Bible, yes. in the word of God, you, sir, with all respect, cannot yes. find me one scripture where Jesus, when he was on this earth, yes. he walked this earth in the flesh, yes. that he preached the gospel of grace. He preached the gospel of, of grace. grace. What is grace? Grace is a person, according to Titus 2. Grace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just, just, hold, just a minute, just a minute, hold grace up. Grace is a person, Titus 2, 10 and 11. Grace is a person. For the grace of God Who's had that? appeared to Same. all men. Wait a minute. That's just, Jesus just, Christ. Just a minute. Same. Grace is a person. It's a person, and I can show you this person, Saint Jesus. John. All right, give he me showed. John. St. John chapter 1, uh, and at verse 17. Listen to that, John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses. The law, now you said Jesus never preached it. Let's see. Here, just a minute. Hold up. No. The law don't was do that. given by Moses. The, the, the law, don't tell me don't do that. No, I got to do it. I got to give you Bible. No, that's What's right. The law was given by Moses. Was given by Moses or Musa, but grace, grace and truth, and truth came by Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Listen. Now watch this. No, no. Do no, you no, believe no. that? I believe that. Do you me. believe that? One hundred thousand. I believe that. Did, so, it, did it come by Jesus? Yes. But watch this. Did sir. he preach it? Yes. Watch it. Wait, wait, wait. No, he didn't preach grace. Just a minute. Just grace a minute. And he truth. Was grace. Grace. Grace and truth came, oh, no. came he by Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is Jesus. Grace and truth is Jesus. I agree. And it, just, just grace and truth is I Yahshua. Agree. I'm so glad you said that. Grace and truth is Yahushua, is Yahushua, and did not Yahushua preach about himself? 
No. He didn't? Grace and fat. truth. No, hold up. He no, he never did. preached he did about himself? Pre no, he did not. Did he not say, my father who dwelleth in me, he doeth, uh -huh. the works. doeth the works in me? He, did he not say, no man cometh to the father except by me? And yes, you sir. dare tell me yes, he didn't preach about himself? No. He didn't? No. That yes. makes the Bible a lie. That's yes. right. Let's read this. St. John chapter 14. Follow me in the Bible. And at verse 10. Follow me in the Bible. Believest thou not? Listen at Jesus now. Believest thou not? And now I'm asking you the same thing. Believest thou not? Believest thou not? That I yes. am in the Father. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. He's preaching about who? That I am in I, the Father. I, 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 I am Personal in the Father. Uh -huh. I am in the Father. Now, now who's not rightly dividing this? Hold up. You will, here. Yeah. You will dare insult Jesus. Believest thou and not? Say he didn't preach about himself. No, listen. You don't know the Bible. No, but look that's at what, what Jesus said. I believest thou not that He's asking I? You a question. Believest thou okay. not? Believest Can thou not that I, I am in the Father? I. Is I, he talking about himself? Listen. Yes. Now I, that I, I am in the Father. I am in the Father. And the Father in and me. The Father. Is in me. The words that I speak. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. What he said? The words that I speak. The words that what? The words that I speak. You stood here and said, I cannot find nowhere in the Bible uh -huh. that Jesus talked about himself. No, I didn't say that. Preach. Listen what I said. Listen what I said. I, I said, preach about himself. The words preach that I speak. About himself. The words. That I speak unto Jesus you. Jesus said. The Preach. words that I here, speak. Here, 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 Pastor Jennings. Here, hear me good. And I say this to every preacher, and I don't care who you are. Don't fight the truth of God. No, never will. Don't fight it. You're going to stand here, Mr. and My everybody Lord. heard you. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Mr. Jennings. You said, I say Jesus this? ain't never. In fact, you okay. said, I can never get a scripture. Okay, okay. Right. share this too. Let, let me finish Can I this. clarify that? Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish, because I heard you out. I said that. Okay. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. Please remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much guys. Bye bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.